so the last step that we need to perform on our dashboard is to add the slicers so that anyone who is looking at the dashboard should be able to look at the data for one specific country one specific region one specific quarter and one specific month at a time for that i will go back to my first sheet that is the pnl sheet and you can see we already have a slicer for country that we have added earlier now we will want to add the slicers for region as well so let us go to the directory table here and let us click on this drop down and here click on show filter and you can see that system has quickly added a slicer for the region as well so i want to change the layout for this slicer as well and i want to make it single value drop down i'm sorry single value list and here you can see that it has been transferred to single value list and again let us select all the regions for now and you, you can see that our values are changing as we are changing the regions from here after that i also want to add a slicer for the quarter and for that i will go back to my calendar table and i will add i will click on this drop down and i will say show filter and the quarter slicer has been added here and i will leave this one as is so that you know we should be able to select multiple quarters if we like so i will leave them as is for now and finally i want to add a slicer for month as well so i will go back to calendar again click on the drop down and click on show filter and you can see that this slicer has also been added now of course there are going to be 12 months so this slicer is so long so i will rather change the presentation of that and i will make it single value list or you can change it at, as multiple uh, i mean single value drop down or you can change it to multiple value drop down as well so i'm going to use multiple value drop down so i have changed it to this one and now you can see if i click here i can select the months that i like so this is the first part that we have done to add the slicers the second part is we will now before going to dashboard we will make sure that these slicers are applicable on all the sheets in this uh, file in this tableau file and this is because you know all of those sheets are eventually making up the dashboard so i will select all of these slicers and one by one i will click on apply to all the worksheet apply to worksheets and i will say all using uh, all using i mean sorry so i want to change the layout for this slicer as well and i want to make it single value drop down i'm sorry single value list and here you can see that it has been transferred to single value list and again let us select all the regions for now and you, you can see that our values are changing as we are changing the regions from here after that i also want to add a slicer for the quarter and for that i will go back to my calendar table and i will add i will click on this drop down and i will say show filter and the quarter slicer has been added here and i will leave this one as is so that you know we should be able to select multiple quarters if we like so i will leave them as is for now and finally i want to add a slicer for month as well so i will go back to calendar again click on the drop down and click on show filter and you can see that this slicer has also been added now you can see that this slicer has taken a lot of space and i do not have so much space available on my dashboard so i will change the layout for this one and i will say let us select drop down list and of course you have two options single value drop down and multiple values but i want to choose the multiple values so that we can select multiple months at the same time so let us click on this one and you can see that the system has changed this slicer to a drop down where you can select multiple months at the same time uh, now let us talk about the last bit and that last bit is before we apply these slicers on the dashboard we have to make sure that these slicers are now applicable to all the sheets that we have added in this tableau file and for that i will click on this drop down on each slicer i will have to do one by one for all the slicers and i will go to apply on worksheets and i will say now you have four options here so i will say all using this data source 
let us do the same for this slicer as well apply to worksheets and this option again let's do it for this slicer as well and finally this one as well okay so now all of our data sheets must have this slicer let us go and check if that is happening so if I just change anything from here in this uh, in this dashboard you know my other sheets will also respond to that so if I just show you on gross profit sheet you can see right now the gross profit is the total uh, for the complete uh, company if I just go back to P&L and I change that the region to Europe only you can see that my gross profit has changed to 927572 if I just go to gross profit in this sheet you can see even in this sheet the system has changed the values so let me go back to select all for now and let us go back to dashboard now now to show these slicers here on our dashboard I'm sorry I'm using the word slicers again and again in Tableau this is called filter actually so to show these uh, filters here in my dashboard I will select any visual I would prefer the profit and loss statement visual because I have added those slicers on this uh, profit and loss and I will go to this analysis tab and I will say filters and now you can see I have multiple options to add filter and if we have skipped the last step i mean if we have not added the region filter and all those filters these options will not be appearing here so we have to perform that step first so i'll click on region and you can see we have the slicer appearing here now i will just quickly drag it here after that let us go back again select this visual and analysis tab and filters and this time let us select the country and we have this slicer available now so i'll drag it down from here to this side don't worry if we don't have a space we, we can change the layout if we need so i will just leave it uh, like this for now and after that you know we have the next step is to bring in the next slicer that we have just added so i will go back to the analysis again filters and i will click on quarters so we have this slicer is available i will just drag it down to here and let me reduce the size and finally let us select this visual again let us go to analysis and filters and select this filter for month as well and you can see we have this month available here and i will have to looks like uh, look like i will have to do this formatting again so never mind i can do that easily so i will say let us make it multiple values drop down it will be changed very quickly so let me reduce this size now and similarly let me change its layout as well so i'll click here and i will make it a single value list that should be this one and finally let me do the same for region as well so reduce the size and then from this drop down option i will make it single value list and you can see there's a little bit overlapping here so we have a space so we can drag down the panel towards the end and if i can just first reduce the size it will look better and let me drag it down towards the end and now you can see we have the slicers available on our dashboard and if i just check and see if all of the values are responding to my slicers let us see let us click on europe and it is taking some time but okay so visuals have changed pnl has changed and the above values have changed let us click on north america and everything has changed again let us click here so we have these values changed again so click on all back again so you can see that all of these values are responding and now that we have done it once uh, right so let us check the country as well let me select all here and let me go to any country for example france 
and you will see that the visuals have changed and all the values have changed as well okay so this slicer is also working let me check any of the quarter now so first let me reduce its size and now let me check any quarter so i will uncheck all and this will remove everything from my dashboard basically because you know uh, i have removed everything in the quarter and now let us select any quarter and you have the data back but of course since it is only first quarter the visuals are looking a little different now because we are only seeing very limited data now so i will check it back again i will make sure that we have all the data again and finally let us check for any month as well so if i click on uh, for example january you will have your data but of course it will be in a very awkward shape so let us go back to all again and with that our dashboard is complete now one last thing that we want to do we want to you know if we want to uh, first of all hide this toolbar you have this option available here from this but if you want to make this uh, dashboard in the presentation mode you will press the f7 key on your keyboard and system will take you to the full screen i mean this is the presentation mode of tableau and to get back to your similar screen that you were using previously you will press the f7 key again and that is your visual that is your view again so that is it i hope that you have liked this very much and with that in the next section we are moving towards balance sheet we will prepare the complete balance sheet and then we will also prepare the ratios uh, where we will be using some values from profit and loss some values from the balance sheet just like asset turnover or return on capital employed and then we will be creating even more creative dashboards so i really hope that you have liked this section